Hello everyone and welcome to Bristol, the southwest hub of puppetry here in England. My name's Kat Rock, this is Puppet Place and you are watching the Bristol 48 hour virtual puppet film festival. So, two weeks ago, the House of Funny Noises, in association with Puppet Place Bristol, sent out a challenge to all the puppet people around the world. Can you make a puppet film in only 48 hours? Well, the rules were simple. Make a puppet film that revolves around live action puppetry, do it in only 48 hours, and include the free prompts that the challenge had set. The prompts were the action of Flip, the item Fred and the theme of time. Our teams had to include these prompts within their film. They then had to devise, film, edit and submit their film before the deadline. What you are going to see tonight are the top 10 and judges award winners from our eligible submissions. As part of this, we also had two youth categories. We had the under 10s and the 11 to 15 year olds. We're going to kick off tonight's finale by showing you the winners of our youth categories. Hang on a minute, don't forget about me. Yes, and don't forget about me either. Oh, um, of course, no challenge would be complete without prizes. So our lovely snake here is going to go to the winner of the 11 to 15 year olds and our charming chameleon is going to make their way over to the winner of the under 10s. Well then, what am I supposed to do? Mm, that is true. What are we going to do with our iguana puppet? Well, I know. Let's give it away to one of the voters in our Audience Choice Award. That's right, you have the chance to vote for your favourite film. Any of our eligible films that were submitted and have been shown over the entire weekend are up for this award. If you follow the links attached to this video, you will find our form, fill it in, send us your details and you will be entered into the prize draw to win our Iguana Puppet. All of the puppets tonight have been kindly donated by Puppets by Post. Their link is also attached to this video, so if you're looking to start your own puppet collection, check them out but I think it's about time that we saw some puppet films in this puppet film festival. Thank you to everyone who entered. We're going to kick off tonight's finale with our youth category winners. Thanks to everyone. We loved watching your films and we can't wait to see what you do again next year. Hello and welcome to our show. A show full of magic and wonder. Ah, oh, Apprentice, I'm so glad you're here. I have a job of utmost importance for you. What is it? We must send you back in time to recover three items that have been scattered throughout history. But I thought you were banned from time travel after the T-Rex incident. That ban only stops me from travelling through time, not from sending you. And it's a very important mission, Roy. If you do not recover the lost items by 7pm, then it will be the end of the world. Okay, I'm up for the job. Meow! Feel as the hands of time flip you through history.
my gosh, it must be around here somewhere. Wait, is that a, wait, that is a shark. Oh my gosh, ah! Those jaws, I don't think I'll ever sleep again. But it was worth it, I got the ice hummers and the world is safe. The world? The world is perfectly safe. But thank you so much. If Mother had found out I'd accidentally scattered the contents of her handbag through time, well, she'd have been incredibly cross. What? Are you telling me that you sent me through all that just so you didn't get in trouble with your mum? And you told me that the world would come to an end? Huh? Oh, well, that's just a figure of speech, my boy. Now run along before <gasps> she's home! Mervyn! Our amazing work, Olera O'Rourke and the Howes family. Congratulations to you. Your Puppets by Post Puppets will be on their way to you soon. Now, our judges, when they were reviewing the films, were looking for different kinds of things. We asked them to look at the puppets, the puppetry, the cinematography, the storyline and narrative, and just the general way the films made them feel. Obviously, films are very subjective, and the arts are very subjective. So what we've done is we've given our judges the chance to pick some honourable mentions. And these are films that really spoke to the judges individually and they thought deserved some recognition and praise. So here is our montage of all of the films that have received an honourable mention in the Bristol 48 Hour Puppet Film Challenge.
So I'd really like to um, commend the piece uh, Unraveling, um, which, uh, while it wasn't one of the more puppet-led pieces, I thought was a really strong uh, individual piece of work. Um, I thought the use of materials uh, and the thought given to that was, was very thorough uh, and effective. Um, uh, the overall concept I thought was extremely strong, uh, as was the writing. Um, the, uh, I found both the uh, gradual emptying of the uh, photo books uh, and the, uh, the, the unravelling uh, of the knitting um, very kind of poignant and strong visual metaphors, um, you know, around uh, around loss of, of memory, um, and uh, yeah, overall it was a, a piece that, that I think really stayed with me. So here are my honourable mentions, they're being shared by Cuckoo Cuckoo and The Big Day. Cuckoo Cuckoo because it had a great mix of 2D and live puppetry, the puppets were beautifully made too, and a simple and effective storytelling that encapsulates the three prompts really, really well. I love that it was um, not quite the ending that I was expecting either. The Big Day, again, simple but effective storytelling, and I love the whole execution. Puppetry was simple, um, and this mirrored the no-nonsense narrative. Uh, a variety of camera angles was used to good effect, and the editing, the sound, and the light design all worked uh, to the same goal. Dinner time. Emma Windsor loved the cartoon style. She thought that this worked well across the 3D puppetry and 2D shadow puppetry. She liked the design of the 3D puppet spider, with the two puppeteers working those rubber hose legs. This piece stood out for Emma as a joyful production that she thought took a slightly different slant on the free prompts. Hello, I am Izzy B of the House of Funny Noises, and we would like to acknowledge our honourable men mention, which is the film Switch. Um, this was a film that we found quite, uh, quite enjoyable because of its incredible use of cinematography and lighting and attention to colour and you know just movement and in sharp cutting and switching of focus. Um, we, we see the hard work that you did in it and we really appreciate it. Um, other things that were worth mentioning are your just incredible use of the prompts as well. We found that you used thread especially well because it was one of the, the few things that was highlighted as, a, um, as one of the, the standout colours being red and just the incredible caress of the puppet of the thread but without having it be um, a bit on the nose. Uh, we appreciated that quite a lot. Um, and the, the switching of the, the hollow eyed to giggly eyes just really got me. Um, thank you very much. Uh, good luck. Well done to all of our honourable mentions. Now, it's time for us to see which films have made it into the film festival's overall top 10. Our judges had a hard time deliberating this one, but we've got ourselves a really nice selection. Please enjoy the Bristol 48 Hour Puppet Film Challenge overall top 10. Do you 
already been in a movie? Sorry, I don't think I can make the film as I've just eaten my dinner. <coughs> hey, Snake Eyes! We need a star for our movie! Oh, sorry, Minx. Late night last night. Oh. <clears throat> What's the role? Puppet Zombie. Puppet Zombie? Hey, I know just the puppet. Hey, Socky, wake up! Wait, what? Ready, Socky? Three, two, one. Guys, what you doing? Come on, we haven't got time for this world of movie to make. Come on! Here's your thread. <laughs> Stand by and action.
One for rook, one for crow, one to rot, one to grow.
This is a story about love. The world is full of love. Happy couples in love can be found wherever you go. But this isn't a story about any of them. This is the story of a lonely young woman who walked through the world completely alone. Until one day she met a mysterious stranger who asked her why she seemed so melancholy. She explained her longing for someone to love. The stranger smiled and explained that every person in the world is connected to their soulmate by a thin red thread. From birth, they are joined. He showed her the threads that bound the couples they passed. But the young woman looked down at her own wrist and the thread that encircled it. Mine is frayed and broken, she said. The stranger frowned. Well, then you will never find love. But how could this happen? The woman started to ask, but... As she did, she remembered a moment as a child when she had felt that thread snap. The lights of a car, the sound of a child playing, the screech of brakes. My soulmate is dead, she whispered. She doesn't have to be, the stranger answered. Time is malleable. Only say a word and you can change it. Please, but there is a cost. Change time and this version of you will cease to exist. This timeline will fade forever. I understand. Please. And with that, the man pulled out a tattered notebook and began to flick backwards through the pages. There was a great rush of wind and darkness. The woman opened her eyes to find herself stood on a familiar street. This was the moment. She looked down and her eyes fell upon a bright red thread connecting her younger self to her soulmate. She reached down hesitantly. The roar of an engine filled her ears and she grabbed the thread and pulled with a strength she did not know she possessed. Her younger self was yanked towards her, cartwheeling through the air. But from the centre of the road, another child was pulled to safety as a car sped past her. The two young girls tumbled through the air and landed back to back. Then slowly they turned to face one another and smiled. The woman felt the warmth of those smiles and knew she had made the right decision. The two young girls became firm friends, a 
friendship of joy and laughter that deepened and changed as the years passed. The young woman saw the years flash before her eyes as she felt herself beginning to fade. She saw herself walk down the aisle and heard the church bells ring, and she was content as the darkness took her. The sun went down and the jungle fires were burning Down the track came old boy hiking He said, boys, I'm not turning I'm headed for a place It's far away With the birds and the bees, the cigarette trees The lemonade springs where the bluebird sings I'm gonna stay, we we'll sleep all day Where they hung the jerk that invented work In the big rock candy mountain I'll see you all this coming fall In the big rock candy mountain Says he is in the future Cause that's where he's gone From his time to warn future Joey of a now gone wrong Alarm clock says it's 6.02 a.m. But he's from 5.55 Wants to fix the present in the time he has arrived
Congratulations to the top 10! It's an amazing to see such an array of different kinds of puppet films there in the top 10. You all did an amazing job and it's really hard to believe that you did that all within 48 hours. Now it's time for us to find out who has won first, second and third place in the Bristol 48 hour puppet film challenge. Now because of the kindness and generosity of our supporters, we are actually able to offer up some prizes for these awards as well. Third place is going to receive £50. Second place is going to receive £75 and first place is going to receive a whopping £100. Thank you to everyone who has supported and donated to us so far. If you would like to help us and support us in making events like this in the future, our fundraiser is still active and you can find the links also attached to this video. But now it's time to find out who has won the Bristol 48 hour puppet film challenge. Thank you to everyone who has submitted a film, thank you to everyone who is watching now, and thank you to everyone who has supported us in making this event. We're really looking forward to running this again next year, so we hope to see you all back in the year 2021. But for now, let's find out who has won the Bristol 48 Hour Puppet Film Challenge 2020. In third place, Joey of the Past. 
I thought Joey of the Past was a really delightful piece of work. Um, I found uh, Joey, the puppet, uh, extremely alive as a character, um, both uh, through kind of excellent animation uh, and, and movement, and also in terms of the relationship that the puppet had with the music, uh, which which was also uh, kind of, I, I really enjoyed uh, the song. Really skilled manipulation and a cracking soundtrack made this short film really watchable. It connected to the COVID crisis, obviously, but in, in a weirdly comforting way. Um, you know, I wasn't sure who Joey was or exactly what Joey was doing, but, but I thought that Joey uh, as the song said, you know, probably did have my best interests at heart. I love the way that the presence of the manipulator was introduced early on with the little sequence with the craft knife. And the film also had some really intriguing design ideas that, that actually left more questions than it answered. I thought there was something enormously satisfying about the mechanics uh, of the simple set and, you know, waiting for uh, for Joey's, uh, the different ways that, that we might try and, uh, the different tactics we might use to try and get uh, Joey's head uh, into into the correct um, slot. Uh, and yeah, overall I, I just found it a, a really delightful uh, and compelling piece of work. In second place, Why Am I a Stick? Why Am I a Stick? This one stands out for me particularly for its mix of two-dimensional paper puppetry and drawn elements uh, alongside three-dimensional puppets and live sets. I mean, it's impossible to, to talk about this one without talking about the, the sort of central uh, stick puppet. I, uh, I absolutely I have great love for puppets that are um, both kind of really obviously awkward um, and also incredibly Alive, and I thought there was something really, uh, really um, endearing uh, about about the, the kind of central uh, stick figure. I thought it was a really lovely uh, build. I really liked the detective's clue board and the threads that are linking up all the clues. Uh, that that tickled me. That was a neat idea. I thought the storytelling, the editing, and the use of conventions without ever uh, resorting to um, you know to, to cliche uh, were uh, was really effective. I mean, I thought it, it had a very clear story, despite the story being completely and utterly uh, ludicrous. And something quite absurdly pleasing uh, about a stick character climbing a tree. That was, yeah, that did it for me. The range of, of techniques I thought was, was uh, both kind of very effective, you know, really, uh, uh, really useful in terms of, of, of telling the story, um, and, uh, and also just really kind of enjoyable. It, it felt like a very sort of um, playful uh, piece and... Um, and yeah, had a kind of uh, a joy, I think, in the making that, that, that absolutely came across to, uh, to the viewer. In first place and the winner of the Bristol 48 Hour Puppet Film Challenge is... The Moon, the Sun and the Sweet. Moon, the sun, and the sweep. So weird. So, so very weird. Um, I thought uh, it was both totally charming, you know, very sweet, and also legitimately nightmarish. I'm not really sure why this short film works so well. All I know is that it does. This film was created by two aspiring filmmakers, actors and musicians. They also make songs and films for children on their YouTube channel, Songs for Pubs. The prompts were particularly kind of, you know, well integrated into the, the, the very simple uh, story. Maybe the shocking violence and the incongruent action between consecutive shots, um, or maybe the fact that the filmmakers managed to convey so much in less than a minute and a half of screen time. Emma Windsor says that she's watched The Moon, The Sun and The Sweet many times, and that she's a little bit in love. 
I thought it was aesthetically incredibly well considered and, and coherent. Um, you know, the use of, of puppetry, stop motion, green screen, um, uh, hugely well considered uh, set props and, and, and title cards. I found it totally charming and totally weird. This film was shot in a Bristol flat using lots of invisible string, some stop motion and green screen. Music was accorded especially and all within 48 hours. I think what I, what I enjoyed most about it was, was it was completely unpredictable. Um, you know, it, it opens and, and, and you, you, you have some sense of where it might be going um, and then there's of course a, a sort of sudden shock moment that is, is very surprising when you think, okay, we're going in a sort of in a darker uh, direction now, and then and then it it, it doesn't necessarily. It, it kind of um, it continues to be very kind of light and, and sweet and charming, um, and I, I I really in, in enjoyed that. Congratulations to the moon, the sun and the sweet. You are the winner of the Bristol 48 hour puppet film challenge. Woo! We're puppet films for the win. Now that film was made by Bear Thompson and Anya Dujun. Thank you so much guys for your entry and we'll be in contact with you soon about your prize. Thank you to everyone who has entered the film challenge and thank you to everyone who has joined us for the film festival over this weekend. We've had an amazing time running and hosting this event and we can't wait to do it again next year. Now we are going to be re-showing our top three, so stay tuned for that. And if you are watching this live on Facebook, then you still have a couple of minutes left to enter into our audience choice award. Get the film that you love the recognition it deserves. And just once again, everyone, thank you for joining us and making this event so special. We did a thing. You guys did a thing. Everybody go out and do all of the things. This has been the Bristol 48 hour puppet film challenge. Thank you for joining us and good night. Joey of the past says he is in the future cause that's where he has gone. From his time says it's 6.02 a.m. but he's from 5.55 wants to fix the present in the time he has arrived Joey of the past he's a man of his time wants to save us all but we will probably be fine
As the sun went down and the jungle fires were burning Down the track came old boy hiking He said, boys, I'm not turning I'm headed for a place It's far away With the birds and the bees, the cigarette trees The lemonade springs where the bluebird sings I'm gonna stay, we we'll sleep all day Where they hung the jerk that invented work In the big rock candy mountain I'll see you all this coming fall In the big rock candy mountain 